All right, so first I have to do two lectures for genetics with problems. And then I also have, wow, I also have to do a path exam and complete one chapter. Okay. In addition to that, I have to do a lecture for biochem, finish reading for psychology for sport and exercise. In addition to have a research and tutoring someone. Wow, how am I gonna mention this time? He came to the right place. Hey guys, it's Sean and welcome back to this channel. If you're new to this channel, I am a current junior at Rutgers University in hopes of one day becoming a future physician. In this video, I'll give you guys a few tips on time management that I learned throughout college so far. And yes, I'm aware that the semester has ended for almost everyone by now if it has already ended, but it's always a good time to improve on your time management and just improving generally on your college performances throughout your winter break. I'll also be giving out a bonus tip near the end of the video so make sure to stick around until the end of the video so that you can hear about this bonus tip. My first tip is to make sure you can create a specific schedule that can tailor towards you and in this specific schedule you want to make sure you can put everything that you're going to do throughout that day. And I usually like to do this actually starting at the beginning of the week. So usually I do this either on Saturday or Sunday. But for me, try to create that baseline as well of occurring and reoccurring events that happens throughout the semester. So again, I usually like to do those types of events in the beginning of the semester. So that could be meetings for a specific club or the classes that you're taking this semester. You could also put the times that you are taking an exam or even the times that you are working if you currently work and also if you really want to you a lot time for the subject that you'll be studying throughout that day as well so that you can complete every assignment and you don't lose track and as i said in previous video you can use google calendar so that you can color code your events and it'll be much easier for you to visualize to see what type of events are coming up and how important those events are for you but the most important thing about creating this schedule is that you definitely make sure to not only do it in the beginning of the semester, but you have to do it weekly. And then also you have to modify anything that could go on daily as well. And the second tip that I have is to make sure you prioritize on certain courses that you are taking right now. For example, currently this semester, I am taking genetics, biochem, psychology for sports and exercise, physics 2, and general physics lab. And usually in this semester, I usually prioritize either genetics or physics just because those were the two most important classes that I had in, in my schedule. And also those are the two most time consuming classes. I really want to make sure that I did as good as possible in those two courses. Then next, I usually focus on biochem, but usually people think that biochem is as hard as a, of a class as general physics or genetics, but in my school, biochem isn't as hard as a class, so I guess that's good for me. And that pretty much allowed me to not focus as much in that class and put a little bit less effort than let's say physics or genetics. Lastly, I didn't really focus as much in psychology for sports and exercise and general physics two lab, just because those classes are pretty much only really did work in while I was actually class. So pretty much I spend very little time in these two classes because usually either the quizzes were done over nose or most assignments I was able to do within the lecture. And the reason why I like to prioritize classes over others is just because I want to be able to focus on the harder stuff first so that I can slowly ease my way in into the easier stuff later throughout the day. Okay, so this third tip pretty much leads in from the second tip. And it's basically to give an estimate of how much time an assignment will actually take you to complete. And so you know how I said before that you should do the hardest subjects first and then the easier subjects second. And usually I have to figure out which subject is harder and which subjects are easier. I can basically see how much time I can allot for an easier class and then how much time I can allot for a harder class. And usually I'll allot more time for the harder classes than the easier classes. And basically this helps me with not burning out throughout the day, but it also helps me just 
getting it work done more efficiently. And as I said in previous videos, you should not be spending so much time on a single class and to actually spend a little bit of time every day. And when you spend time a little bit every day, this not only increases your productivity, but it also helps with managing your time much better. And the good thing when you're spending a little bit of time each day doing your assignments and also given an appropriate time for each assignment, you will have more time for other things you want to do, like going to club organization events or just enjoying a hobby that you wanted to do. All right, so my fourth tip is to just see whether you are doing work either throughout the day or if you're doing work throughout the night. And this can greatly depend on what time your classes are. So if your classes are in the middle of the day, let's say, then probably you're gonna be doing work throughout the night. And if your classes are maybe in the night, then you're probably doing work throughout the day. And doing work when your brain is functioning its best will increase your productivity, but still regardless on which time you're doing work, just make sure that you're actually getting enough sleep anyway. Okay, so my fifth tip, which is a bit controversial, but it's actually pretty helpful, is to make sure you get involved in other stuff other than school. So this could be something relating to medicine or research or any hobbies and passions you have. When you're doing these extracurricular activities, funny enough, this actually helps you to get work done quicker just because it helps you just be more efficient with your time. But make sure and please, this is very, very important because I've seen this happen way too many times from when I was a freshman to even now as a junior. Please, please, please make sure you try to balance between your extracurricular activities and your actual academic work. It's very, very important because I've seen this too many times where people either do too much extracurriculars and not enough work or do too much work and not enough extracurricular. So make sure you always keep that balance. And also as a sign note, just make sure you have that extra time for mental health. You don't want to feel like that you're draining from doing your work and academic assignments and also your extracurriculars. Just make sure you always have time for mental health as well. And that could be having a half day off, having a full day off, or just getting more sleep. Just anything that will be able to give you that push to finish even stronger throughout the semester. I think I forgot about the bonus tip towards the end of the video. <laughs> nah, I didn't forget. But my bonus tip is to keep a log actually of everything you do throughout a week. And I actually learned this throughout my freshman year of undergrad. It was in like a first year course. It was pretty much about like a topic towards your interest. And usually like seniors taught this course and this senior actually went on and got accepted to a medical school that same year I took the course. And basically what he said is to just either type or write absolutely everything you do throughout a week. Whether it's doing work, whether it's you procrastinating or even going to a party or something like that. Just write everything possible that you can write down. And this pretty much helps you see what you're doing good towards your productivity and what you're doing bad towards your productivity. And also, you can see what you need to adjust throughout your studying when you keep a log. And also, you can see what you need to adjust in order to do better that semester. And of course, this will help your productivity and this will also help you get a better grades. And most importantly, it will help you to increase your time management. Make sure you click the like on this video so that you can help with the YouTube algorithm and pushing this video out. And also comment down below on what tips you learned throughout this video that you will use throughout the future or even what other tips that you use that I didn't mention in the video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys soon.